It's the city so nice they named it twice. Tonight, SmackDown comes to you from the Big Apple, New York City. A place that I am very proud to call home, Cole, and also a place that I'm proud to say I made my WWE debut. It sure is, partner. And you know, it's always a huge event whenever SmackDown comes to the city that never sleeps. Man, you talk about superstars and we ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear, I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End the story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. And there's the reversal. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars, Taz. I don't think anything could be more obvious. Spoken like a guy who's never been in there, Cole. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now. He was one step ahead on that one. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're gonna be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. It looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. A tombstone pile drive. He can get the right. pin right here. Nice quick counter. <laughs> Yo, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole. I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Taz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal a victory and enhance your... He's going for the pin! This oh. could be it! Here's your winner, The Undertaker!